Hello guys, what you're about to see now is another free lesson from my latest course about Alpine.js and specifically about examples of how to use Alpine.js as part of Blade components. They can be stuck together in a really well structured way and I will show you a few examples from open source project, how they use that and how to use Alpine.js to be reusable in Blade. If you want the full course about Alpine.js from scratch, from practical way, the link will be in the description below. And now let's get into the video. In this video, I want to expand on a topic which we have touched briefly in a previous lesson, how to use Alpine in Blade components. And I will show you two examples of that. The first example is from the same Laravel IO portal. They have a Blade component called Community Member. And if we go to Laravel IO homepage, this is one community member. Each avatar is one random member from the community and when you mouse over the member, it shows some information. So that is done with Alpine and inside of the community member blade component, it has X avatar. So showing avatar, this is another blade component with X on mouse over active equals member ID. And I will show you in a minute where that member ID comes from. And on mouse out, active false. Now this community member blade component is used in another blade component kind of like a parent component called community members. So the list, or in fact, five lists. So there's members zero, one, two, three, and four, and each represents the row of avatars. So for each of the first row of avatars, it loads the community member blade component. And this is where the X data is initialized as Alpine. So by default, that Alpine component is all of the members avatars and by default active is false, which means no member needs to show their information until someone mouse over them. So if we go back to the blade component itself, this is what is happening on mouse over active variable equals member ID. And that member ID is passed here to the blade component. And then this active variable is equals false or specific member ID. And then that whole list of members is used in the home blade like this, just X community members, which is taking half of the screen on the right. So this is an example how you can use Alpine in the blade component, which is used in another parent blade component, which is actually initializing X data. And as you saw in previous lessons, the Alpine itself is initialized via package JSON globally via NPM in Laravel IO. Another interesting example of blade component comes from Laravel Jetstream. Whenever there's something submitted on some form, it shows the action message like saved, which disappears in a second or so. It is a simple, just text based message. And this is inside of a blade component called action message. And the Alpine is only in itself inside. So we have X data shown or not for that action message. And then it has quite a lot of JavaScript and complicated logic inside. So it sets the timeout of two seconds. And then after those two seconds shown is false, which means that X show would be false if shown is false, which means it will disappear in one and a half seconds. It has also some transition elements, some effects, and also the blade components properties and action message is used in whatever form. So for example, for Livewire, it is used in updating the team name. So it shows saved text and then disappears in a few seconds. Update password form, the same logic, update profile information, log out other browser sessions, API token manager and member manager. So to avoid repeating the same code, it does make a perfect sense to have it as a blade component. And since it has Alpine logic for the dynamic effects, it makes sense to have X data inside of that action message component. So combining blade components and Alpine effects is pretty powerful. If you look at those examples. 